Hey everyone, KiwiKing77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to get uh, Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich SDK port on your HTC Evo Shift 4G. This port is in alpha state and isn't usable at all. The touch screen doesn't work at all. So just a heads up there, this is basically just showing that uh, someone did get Ice Cream Sandwich running on the Shift. So click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this website. Big thanks to Droids. 7 us for this so dread 7 7 us sorry about that so big thanks to him for doing this for us as you can see android 4.0 ice cream sandwich sdk port uh, just go ahead and scroll down and downloads right there ics evo shift it's going to download to look like this can be a zip file just transfer that zip file onto your sd card so click and drag it over to your sd card and once it's on your SD card, you can actually go ahead and power off your phone. You are going to be rooted and have clockwork mod go into recovery. So I'm going to reboot into recovery. I'm on the MIUI ROM in case you are wondering. All right, now my phone is in clockwork mod recovery. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you do make an Android backup before you do any of this. So to do so, uh, go down to uh, go down to backup and restore, select it, and hit backup. So make sure you hit backup before you do do this, just to ensure everything's all backed up. I do have an Android backup already, so I'm good to go. But anyways, once you have a, an Android backup to restore, go ahead and hit uh, wipe data slash factory reset. So you're going to need to wipe all your data, so hit yes, delete all user data. So select that and make sure all data is wiped properly. Alright, once data is wiped, go ahead and go down to wipe cache partition as well. So wipe cache as well, let that format. And once that's done, go to Advanced, and then hit Wipe Dalvik Cache, and then hit Yes, Wipe Dalvik Cache as well. So once that's done, go ahead and hit Go Back, and then just hit Install Zip from SD Card, Choose Zip from SD Card, and then go to that ICS Evo Shift .zip. select it, and then hit Yes, Install ICS Evo Shift .zip. So it's going to go ahead and install the uh, SDK port of Ice Cream Sandwich. It might take a little while, so be patient with it. And when it's done, I'll uh, go ahead and reboot my phone and show you guys I am running the Ice Cream Sandwich port. All right, so as you can see, install from SD card complete. I'm just going to go ahead and hit go back and then just hit reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your phone. And uh, once it boots up, you'll be running Android 4.0. As you can see, it comes with a nice Android uh, boot animation. Gleams when it go as it goes across. All right, now my phone's booted up. As you can see, I'm now running uh, Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, as you can see, it is in portrait mode, and touchscreen does not work, as I said earlier. So touchscreen doesn't work. You can go ahead and slide open the keyboard to unlock it, and then mess around with the. Uh, the arrows, I do believe, go ahead and hit uh, enter. So I somehow went into the messaging app. I'm going to go ahead and the even the haptic feedback buttons here don't work either. So um, I guess I'm out of luck. Oh, I'm trying to. I'm just hitting some buttons and I'm sending a message, but I can't even I can't even mess around with it because uh, I, the touch screen doesn't work. So I have no way to get back to the home screen or anything like that. As you can see up at the top, notification bar, you got blue, uh, you got a blue clock, you got a blue battery icon, as well as blue signal bars that are very clean. I do like the, uh, the theme of this. Sorry, I don't know if this is focusing or not. Sorry about that, guys. So, you, you get the point. But, I mean, as you can see, it's just not very responsive at all. I can try and go ahead and reboot the phone for you guys and then uh, see if I can try and get to the home screen. Alright, so I went ahead and rebooted my phone as you can see. This is a nice, uh, basically, ice cream sandwich lock screen. It's not going to work. As I said, touch screen doesn't work, but it just gives you a look of the uh, lock screen. I'm going to go ahead and slide up. It says, make yourself at home. Put your uh, favorite apps here. This is a taste of the home screen. You got uh, the nice icons over there. I'm going to try and... Uh, get out of this without trying to exit out of this. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do that, but okay, now I went to the browser on accident. And here's the browser. So as you can see, it's really hard to navigate through. You're really going to have to mess with it and reboot your phone a bunch of times to uh, get to it. The, the arrows are kind of inverted as well, so if I wanted to hold the power button 
and scroll down to power off. I gotta hit the right arrow twice to get to power off and then hit enter to select it. And then you press volume up to get over to the OK. Just in case anyone wants to try this and is having trouble powering it off without pulling out the battery, that's how you do that. But other than that, that's just a quick overview of this port. Obviously, it's not a daily driver at all and by any means just a quick taste of it to give everyone a nice taste and uh to see that it is running on the htc evo shift 4g if you do uh, have any questions at all run into any problems installing this feel free to ask leave a comment send me a message I'll be happy to help you out you can follow me on twitter at kubiking 77 all links will be in the description of the video be sure to check out my blog as well there's a link down there just uh, be sure to check it out. I just started it. Let me know what you think. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up.